I start drawing with pencil and then finish the project with micron pen. As I mentioned, if you like to finish everything with my pencil or with micron pen, welcome. I recommend even if you like to do with micron pen, start with pencil and start with um, HB pencil for shaping everything. And then there is a chance to erase the mistake and then we can move on for uh, adding the rest on top. So this beautiful cat that we see is a start from here and finish there. So I start to touch, uh, separate the top part of my paper. And then it doesn't need to separate the bottom because it's fade to the paper. It, the darker part is on top for the face and this part of the body, the hand is moved lighter, 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 and then disappear to the paper. So I, I just go with the top part of the line as the top of the head, separate this part of the cheek or hand. That's good for the face. And then left and right side of the face, I want to separate. Imagine somewhere like this. So it looks like a square shape, like that. Very light and loose, you can draw the line. It's better to start your drawing with a really lighter tone because we have a chance to erase it easily like that. If I erase it, there is no dark line visible under it. And we don't want to have edges for this outline. If you see, there is no line to finish. It's just playing with the, uh, with the narrow line and disappear to the background. So there is no separation line visible. And the other things I want to mention, it's this is about the face. Now I want to separate the ears. So start, this is look like a triangle shape, but a little bit curved toward left, toward right. So the top part is here and here. Just with nice C curve, I try to connect it to the face and this part as well. Go on back. Try to work with your line, not just one dark line really accurate. Take your pencil. It's easy to practice on a white paper. Just leave your hand move like this curve, like that. Or take your pencil from this part, the end of the pencil, like a brush. Easily you can draw a line like this. Move your brush, go everywhere. That's so helpful for drawing the line, different line beside each other, not just Take your pencil like this and draw accurate line. We don't need that so far. And then the other side, I try to just work like that. The pivot and then another curve to connect to this part of the line. So please separate this uh, line So uh, for now. The other friends join us, Rebecca, very welcome. We just start, but I talk about the materials in a brief I mentioned for you till the other friend finish this part of the drawing. We are uh, working with pencil and micron pen. So the pencil numbers that I'm going to use is HB, uh, 2B and 2H. HB is on middle, uh, the graphite half dark, half uh, light. So the hardness and softness is the same. If you go with 2H, 3H, and more, the numbers H uh, is uh, the graphite, it's harder and lighter. Numbers B, like 2B, 3B, 4B, and more, the graphite is softer and the color is get darker and darker. So if you want to go with just a regular drawing with a um, regular draw paper and pencil, welcome to go with that. But I'm going to mix. Uh, this color, like um, like micron pen with pencil. So I'm going to use micron pen as well. Zero two zero five is a good number. This is for smaller line, narrow line, and this is for the thicker uh, line. And I'm going to use mixed media paper because I want to use pencil and micron pen. This is mixed media paper. So you can use on top with different medium like pencil, watercolor, my, uh, micron pen and everything.
So if I draw, because the the cat face or uh, head is look like a ball. So if we draw the curvy line here in on this part of the ball, it's easy to control the uh, the shape of uh, features. So I try to draw one line here as a curve and one line here as a curve. So light, I don't want to keep this line be visible. That's helped me to place the eyes. Even I can go with another curve line on top or even on the bottom. I try to go with another curve line on top of the face to have an idea. This line is good for the top of the eyes. You can choose bottom of under the nose. So I draw one line for that. Give a little space, one third, one third, and one third. So this curve line helped me a little, this square shape separate and I can place the eyes and the nose and the rest. So for this eye, it's nice C curve on top and start from here. Now I can do a little bit darker, just a bit. Bring this down like that, connect to this part. And then another curve. The pupil is so oval like that. You can place the oval shape as a pupil and then it's not much big. Try to make like a, a short ball. I imagine this is the top of the eye. So for this one is on top is here. I bring it like that a little inside. I don't want to have a lots of space between the eyes. This is a little bit longer because we can see more. Because of that, this part of the eye, the, the right eye is a little longer and bigger. Again, the pupil is come here as an oval. Just a tiny line as a curve on a both side, but the same, this eye is, this eye is bigger, um, a little bit fat, and this part of the mouth is longer. So the same happened for the nose because it's in an angle. So small on this part as a simple shape comes down like that. This is the shape of nose if you want to draw this is a little shorter this is a little longer and then you can add a little bit tone here like that and then this tiny line so I try to show that a little bit on the right side longer than the left side the whole shape is like a big triangle shape place the top you can even draw these two and then separate them. Two tiny part come inside, this part a little shorter line, this part a little longer. Then another triangle make by these two points. And then you can add some tone here to show the hole. For the mouth, it's not much challenging, it's easy. Because this line, which is connect the nose with the mouth, we need a tiny curve here, tiny curve here, and then connect it like that. So shorter line to the right side, but for the left, sorry, for the right side, but left side, but for the right side, we make a little longer.
and then choose pencil or micron pen close to each other draw the line i just go with the edge and then after i finish the edge i try to work inside so the edge when i move on top get straight then this way curve is move like that like one two three four five and try to repeat this short line beside each other it's better to do with H or HB for darker tone it's better to go with numbers B but if you go with micron pen if you want to make a darker tone you need to add more line close to each other on top of to each other make it busy with more line if you want to have lighter tone very less line uh, you need to do and it's easier to finish all these fairy hair by uh, smaller size like uh, 0, 3 or 0, 2. So start from this part and then draw the long line. Try to be close to each other. It's so important you have less pressure in your hand. So gently draw the line. Doesn't matter you do with pencil or you do with micron pen, marker or anything. Just less pressure, control, relaxing, draw line close to each other. The reason I prefer to go with less pressure because you can control easily your hand and the darkness of your line. And one point when you want to, because we have different kind of drawing of the line, 
Let me show you. If you want to start from this point, reach to this point, pressure is like that. Start, leave your pencil, move like that, and draw the same value dark color. If you want to start with dark tone and leave it to the paper, disappear, you have this point here, put your pen here, and you need to make it lighter. So start to do like that. Try to take your hand out of the paper, come out. You see, this part is really dark. This part is fade to the background. Like this. And when you reach this side of the eye, then your hand can turn on the other angle. Like this angle. Shorter line. Come to the end of the left side face. But the bottom part is darker, so it's okay you finish like that. Then we can back and fill in between with more line to make it darker. And you see, I'm not worried about the angle I'm going to work. It's okay, some um, change with an angle, so it's cover more each other and make the drawing darker. So this is good about that. After you finish this part, you would like to make these details around the eye. So I start 
add more line here on another angle. It's shaped like V shape. From here, start. So gently come here and then again back to close to the eye. We can make it smaller, shorter line, make it a little bit darker by adding lots of line close to each other. And shape it like that. If you work with pencil, always we will have a chance to erase if you make a mistake. But with micron pen, we are not able to erase it. So it's better to be gently at the beginning with a really narrow line. Because of that, I'm going with the smaller size of micron pen. It's easier to control the line and draw the lighter tone so I think we are okay I just want to connect this to this part so again here a little bit longer line so light like regular drawing please add a tone really dark tone here make it dark a thicker line on top of the eye repeat the line close to each other to make it dark exactly like that and even we have one curvy line on top as well really dark we need to have to show that the features is come on top even the oval shape of pupil is really dark too just color it and the c curve under the eye is dark as well but i'm not connected together i just leave it like that after we add all these really darker color uh, for the edges now we need to fill inside for inside if you see the eye is like a grayish color it's light and around uh, and inside is a little white of the paper for the shine so I keep that shine be white of the paper now I'm switch on a smaller size of micron pen like number two and if you work with pencil it's better to switch numbers H which is uh lighter the graphite is harder so very gently try to fill inside it's a little challenging with micron pen because you need to add very less pressure or if you want you can do it by just the pencil for this one i just add a tone maybe i can go with the pencil too to edge it's easier to have a lighter tone some line close to each other it doesn't matter at the angle you can do cross hashing even but make sure to keep uh, a little bit of space for the shine close to the pupil we need to have that and then tiny line connected together to fill inside <laughs> here with the micron pen this part is a little dark just draw this line a little bit darker fill it and just like that I'm not adding all the dark line everywhere 
add a tone with two edge. Even I need to erase the separation line, I would like to show that this is fade to the rest of the face. So I erase this line on top, start adding narrow, small, tiny line close to each other. The curvy part of the mouth is just dark. You can do by macron pen or dark color of pen, pencil. Just draw the line, but make sure here is darker a little bit and thicker. So make it darker and thicker. And this pointy part of the end is a little darker too, like this way. And this way. After you add those, randomly add the long line for the whiskers. I'm going to do smaller size of this, or even if you work with pencil, please sharpen, because if you see here, there is a, just one line, just one line. Doesn't matter on, the, on which curve, toward up, toward down. And some long line here on the face I would like to add. This is make our cat more look like the real one. So it doesn't need to exactly start from all this spot that you add. You can go or leave it like randomly like this. But make sure any line you want to draw just happen one time. Please not repeat the same line because it gets thicker and it's not look like reality. Even if you are not happy with it, it's okay. Leave it and then repeat another line. And on top, some randomly long line I try to add. Even in between, I don't want to have a space. I try to add a tone. 
to show that it's darker. So add some cross hashing or some line to fill inside between both fingers. And then separation line a little bit at the tone and this separation line and this one. Then for here, I try to add the tone on this way. My curve is moving like that. And then come down on the other way. When I come down again, I try to make a little longer line and then disappear. So very gently and narrow. The other side. paper it's easier to do something like this way this way like this is easier to do we can add some line beside each other have empty space make it a little busy pressure with one side and then empty space again more pressure here we can more control on it 